ESPN welcomes you to the following presentation of the Southeastern Conference. And welcome everyone to ESPN College Football, presented by GEICO on campus at the University of Florida here in Gainesville at the Swamp. As the Gators, the predacious Gators, close in on another SEC East title, but still an important step to take today under the cloudy skies here against Kentucky. Mark Stoops won't back down in this game. Mark Jones has brought out the best in Kentucky in recent years. Yeah, it sure has. A couple of years ago here in Gainesville, Kentucky, if you remember, ended a 31-year losing streak to the Gators, hoping that history will be poised and ready to pe repeat itself here today. Florida winning the toss, deferring the second half. Kentucky will receive the opening kick, and we are underway here in Gainesville. It'll come out from the 25, hand it off to the tailback. Second down and nine. Hand off, it's Rose up the middle, still on his feet. A lot of moving parts, Wilson keeps it himself, has Wilson. Rose in the backfield. Wilson checks down, completes the pass. They fake the jet sweep. They're going to run it again. Green. They're going to hand it off, run it. Nowhere to go that time. Wilson passing complete, wide open for the first down. Upshaw and Upshaw drive so far. First and 10, Wilson under duress and sacked. Back at the 30-yard line by Cox. Play clock down. They're going to be very deliberate like they were a week ago against Alabama. Wilson chucking it downfield and overshoots. Florida defense has come under criticism of late. Wilson sacked all the way back at the 42-yard line. They brought some pressure that time. Of the great state of Florida, zeros on the scoreboard, first and ten for the Gators. First time they're touching the football. More touchdowns in college football this year than number 11 for the Gators. Back to sling it again and incomplete. This plan, third down and seven. See what the plan is here for Florida. Trask completes the pass, but short of the first down. That was Tony. Jacob Finn averaging about 44 yards, and they fake it, and they're going to pick up a first down. Pierce. Still on his feet, Dan Mullen caught the Wildcat defense hitting the snooze bar and converts this first down and 10 for the Gators. They have the ball back, and this is going to be Malik Davis. Merged this season as well in the backfield. He's got 151 yards on the ground coming into the game over the middle complete. There he is, Pitts. Room service. Welcome back, Kyle Pitts. <laughs> don't know you better ask somebody Kyle Pitts with another touchdown his ninth receiving touchdown of the season and the meter is still running folks Atlanta working on his body this is smoke Wilson hands it off and nowhere to go Cavassier Smoke is going to get close. Cavassier Smoke. And they're going to go for it. And down sequence. Wilson's going to keep it himself in a nice gain of about eight to turn up communication. Second and three. Wilson fakes the toss, keeps it himself. Wilson going to hand it off. Nowhere to go. Boy, what a surge from the first down and 15. Trask back to pass out of the backfield complete to Pierce and Pierce is going to be stopped up this forward progress about been reps of that a real testament to his increased strength which probably helps his blocking a little bit third down and 12 Trask complete that's going to be Wells with the first down first down and 10 they're going to run it this time between the tackles, that's for me. <laughs> Five 
five yards to go and catch by Shorter. Fumble, the ball came out, and Kentucky recovers the fumble. So the first turnover of the game, the ball coming loose, and the Wildcats have it. In field position of the afternoon for the Wildcats. Wilson pulls it out, completes the pass to his tight end. Ones that don't happen, got to be able to move on from it. Wilson hands it off again. Obviously, you're in four-down territory here with a quick snap. And Wilson's going to pick up the first down. Wilson running it down to 11. They hand it off. And Rose, pardon me, Smoke, is spreading out that Florida defense. Three receivers out to the top of your screen. And nowhere to go. Campbell making the tackle. Daly in motion. Wilson into the end zone. Touchdown, Upshaw. What a grab in traffic. And the Wildcats a point away from tying it up. Filler and Smith have been able to take some of that pressure off Mond, and that offense has really started clicking over the last month and a half. Yeah, they've been particularly balanced. They were able to split those games, and they've been really hot ever since. Lavassier smoke. Austin Dotson wearing number 65 to honor his memory today in a nice run in the efficiency of that offensive line today. They create a nice hole for Rose, who bursts. So it's still a teammate. Between the tackles. Enjoyed coaching these guys and really represented the university well. Wilson keeps it. And he's... Josh Ali has a nice wave of blockers in front of him and picks up about 15 yards. Pass here and there. They've got the Gators spread out on first and 10 and nowhere to go. Smoke 10. Wilson, out of the backfield complete, Ali. Wilson steps up in the pocket, takes off, still on his feet, Wilson on the move. One guy to beat and pushed out of bounds. First and goal for the Wildcats. Hand it off, and in goal. They fake the jet sweep, Wilson pulls it out. Into the end zone and throws it away. Third and goal, Wilson surveys. And incomplete, fourth and goal. And a flag down at about the 11-yard line. Let's see what this is about first. Holding on the offense, number 67. That penalty is declined. Fourth down. Boy, Todd Grantham and Dan Mullen uh, having some impassioned conversation there. Looks like he might be suggesting a few play calls potentially on defense that he'd like to see. I, I just that's, I, that's what my household looks like. Is that, <laughs> you're, you're, the, you're Grantham though, right? <laughs> yeah. Your wife is, is Dan Mullen. Hey, wow. Quinn, what do you I'm see about 10 there? yards away from that outburst. That, that does remind you sometimes of a Thanksgiving dinner, but uh, the, the, the call earlier, the man coverage really had coach angry when, when Terry Wilson scrambled against the man coverage. So a little chip shot here coming up. And he knocks it through. What that really was, I'll take you back, was Mark Jones yelling at his older brother Paul Jones when Paul took the last drumstick <laughs> for Thanksgiving. That's what that was about. Back after this. A field goal. Kyle Trask. It's his back. He's trying to flip that script here today. Right again out of the backfield. What a good opportunity. Here he is out of the backfield, complete. Once again, it's right and right. About under two minutes to go in the first half. Trask. And wisely throws it away. It's yard line for the Gators. Right out of the backfield. Check that. That Florida's offense's hands, which is playing great defense for them as well. Little pressure off the corner. Pass complete. Naquan Wright getting a lot of touches. Fourth and 11. That was Pierce, number 27, that ran for the first down. Not this time. They punted away. And he hits the coffin corner with lethal precision out of bounds at the one-yard line. Wow, what a punt by Jacob Finn. You couldn't have dropped that any better with a nine-iron.
how about the way they hold the ball these days? The, all the different kicks that these punters have in their repertoire. That time got the perfect angle, perfect bounce. A nice job by Grimes there for the first 30 minutes. Wilson hands it off to his tailback. A.J. Rose, remember, can... Also, they lose Justin Rigg, one of their tight ends. Right now, trying to author another upset. He's really done a great job there. Four consecutive winning seasons. And they're going to end up short. End over end punt. Tony on the other side of the field. Great okie doke. And they score the touchdown. Gotcha. The Darius Tony took advantage of the misdirection in punt coverage. That was a great, great job on the punt return, but the real win came on the punt. And some key ones late in the first half. Yeah, let's not forget about the punt by Finn. Great job of kicking to the coffin corner, gets the roll, ball goes out of bounds inside the one yard line. Florida's defense stops. And then how about the acting job of the Florida return team Draws five Kentucky cover players to the left side. Xavier Henderson acts like he's going to catch the ball. Meanwhile, only two Kentucky cover guys recognize that it's actually Canarius Tony on the right side of the field with the football in his hands, and he makes guys miss like it's his job. Over the middle, pass complete. Tony with the catch. And Trask under center. Double pass. Looking downfield. Tony with it. Throws it. Completes it to Pitts. A little schoolyard time, folks. Unfortunately for them, it is. Again, they got it matched up to the left. 101. First and goal. Trask. Pitts. Touchdown. The remix. And he rocked the baby to sleep. That's a lonely island to be on. Mm. You're Brandon Eccles out there. You just saw Pitts try to go to the fade. This time he sells the fade, comes back underneath. A nice job by Kyle Trask of throwing the straight ball out in front of his receiver for the touchdown. Pitts with those sure hands and looked at Eccles and said, yeah, it's bedtime singing you a lullaby. Presence back today. First down and 10 for the Wildcats. Against the best athletes in the country. Second down and eight. And nowhere to go that time for A.J. Rose. Downfield. Wilson takes out his do-it-yourself kid and shotgun again. Plenty of time. Taking a shot downfield. And the catch made at the other end of the 24-yard line to Copeland. Trask back to pass again. Checks down with it to his tailback, Pierce. Oh, he hit the defender with the two-piece. Talented receivers and backs make plays after the catch. You don't have to do everything yourself as a quarterback in this offense. First and goal. This is Pierce. Great move again and all the way down to the three-yard line. On second and goal, low snap. Trask going to be sacked, swallowed engulfed back at the 12-yard line. Trask out of the pocket. Had his arm hit as he threw it. Went to Pierce. And he knocks it through. Increasing the lead to a couple of touchdowns. With just under six minutes to go here in Gainesville. We'll be right back after this. In college football presented by GEICO is brought to you by NBA 2K21. Everything is game. And Duluth Trading Company. Tough, ingenious workwear designed and tested by tradesmen. Florida football luminaries immortalized outside Florida Field here. Three Heisman Trophy winners and perhaps number four on the way. Tebow Spurrier Werfel who said recently it's a little lonely on the end. I'd love to have a new buddy on my left. K Trask 9. Hmm. No pressure. <laughs> Which makes it even crazier to think about those three names, what they've done in Florida football history at the quarterback position. 
and to even further put the pressure on a quarterback for to struggle, maybe since Tebow left in 2009. Kyle Trask wasn't even a starter in high school or when he first got to Florida. This does a nice job of knowing where the rush is coming from and just sliding enough to get guys open. That pass by second down and 10. Wilson keeps it. Safeties in the SEC. Third and nine. Wilson picked off again. This time by Diabati. All the way down to the 13-yard line. Gators with a turnover. The touchdown receptions today. They run the receiver screen. On second and eight, Trask goes through his progression and is brought down from behind. He's coming off the edge, didn't get there. Touchdown, Pitts! That's three for him today. That's how you make a comeback to the field. Kyle Pitts putting it on him today. Quiet first half after the big touchdown early in the first quarter. But here in the second half, he's been a big time weapon, particularly down in the red zone. Look at him sell the inside route, mm. get the defender Corker running. That's great agility for a guy that's 6'6", being able to put his foot in the ground and change directions like that. Hmm. We'll get you the answer in just a minute. Little receiver screen. Florida once. How about the fact that Coach Berger won one and then coached another guy, Danny Warfel? Not bad at all. Then. And more importantly, got that opportunity and took advantage of it. Great point. This is his counterpart. Nowhere close to picking up the first down. Only for Halloween parties now. <laughs> First down and 10 for the Gators, coming back the other way. Trask steps up, taking a shot downtown and overshoots. It's, it's what the NFL's looking for these days, right? A guy that has that much versatility and athleticism combined with the size. There's a couple they need. Balls on the ground, Kentucky pouncing on the loose ball. Davis gets it back, and the Wildcats trying to stay alive. Then they shoot themselves in the foot with a stupid penalty right there. You're in great field position, and you set yourself back. As you mentioned, first down and 10. Wilson fires completed the 35-yard line. Rose gets the handoff and plows his way inside the 30. Third and one, and he's going to hand it off. And nowhere to go for A.J. Rose. He's going to lose a couple of yards. Now, you mentioned it, not only the stop, but the negative yardage now on fourth down. Set. They set up the screen. Good catch by Rose, but he's going to be about two yards short of the first down. The Gators taking over on downs. Self-inflicted wounds. Trask hands it off to Pierce, and Pierce in the open field, still on his feet. Trying to turn it upfield now, and out all the way to the 35. Here he is again. Second down and six. The Gators trying to put away that SEC East division. You're getting in. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what the predictor says. Not to go against what the sponsored element is, but. From 45 yards out. And it's a game of inches. That one just about an inch or two right. AM Eastern, 9 Central on the SEC Network as well as the ESPN app. On first down, issues like racism and police brutality and social justice. There's not a better teacher. Down and nine coming. Wilson back to pass and picked off at the 37-yard line by Sean Davis. And Davis returns it out to the 46. And Dan Mullen, his numbers stacking up right amongst those after 34 games especially. Trask is going to use his legs. Makes a nice cut and picks up the first down. It's a flare scoring points and coaching quarterbacks the way he's done with Kyle Trask this year. And Trask to Pitts with the back shoulder fade complete. AT&T 5G Skycam fans, don't forget to check out the AT&T 5G Skycast streaming on ESPN3 and on the ESPN app. That pass, 6'2 sophomore from Georgia. Going to keep it here. Trask hands it off to Pierce, who almost got decapitated. Field goal attempt from 40 yards out by Evan McPherson. 
after hitting the right upright last time. This one straight through to make it a 34 to 10 football game. The Gators rolling when we come back to Gainesville. Right at midfield, short field opportunity for AM just to run the ball and kick the field goal with no time remaining. Joey Gatewood in a quarterback. Able to remain undefeated at this point in the season. They got a great facility up there. 7-10 to go. And Gatewood gonna take off. Barrels at this point. <laughs> Second down and five. Hand off and a nice move through the hole Mark Stoops has it going there back to pass is Gatewood dropped one in there and it's incomplete and intercepted intercepted what a play by Johnson he wrestled it away from the receiver on the play Drennan look at this Johnson did a nice job of getting his eyes around at the last second, saw the receiver reacting to the ball in the air, turned his head, was in good coverage, didn't panic, found the football, and as you said, the ball was dropped in by Gatewood. Unfortunately, the wrong color jersey was the recipient of that one. There's one more look at it. I wonder if they're going to see if this ball didn't hit the ground. Oh, no, he had his hand underneath it. Just struggled so bad this season to get anything going downfield. Gonna run it on first down and 10. They could continue and play this game. And they're gonna run it in a first down run. Trask with another ho hum three touchdown passing game. Isn't that funny? You no, know, they'd still have an issue. If he walked on water, they'd say, oh, he can't <laughs> swim. Look at that. They run it again. Almost had his degree as a redshirt junior before he actually saw any action on the field here at Florida played a big role in it the willingness to call the fake punt at your own 25 yard line boy an authoritative throw by Jones complete to Rick Wells motion little receiver screen complete second down and seven Gators with their eyes on an appearance in the SEC championship game the years ago yesterday and only Bear Bryant has won more games at Kentucky Pass complete down to the two-yard line to Shorter again. So I, I really like what Jimbo Fisher's been able to do with that team, who seems like they're hitting a the stride. They're going to hand it off on first and goal, and that in all likelihood will be the last play of the football game. <laughs> Kyle Trask and Kyle Pitts team up again for a victory. 34-10 this one against an undermanned, overmatched Kentucky squad that fought hard. Don't forget, coming up next, College Football Scoreboard. The crew with all the scores and highlights for you. For Chris Doring, Quint Kesnick, and Rogers Redding, I'm Mark Jones saying so long, everybody, from Gainesville, Florida. ESPN thanks you for watching this presentation of the Southeastern Conference.